Yes, um, this brethren po will give a word describing pastor um, that starts with each letter of the name. And um, yeah, according to them, they will give like a testimony of what they can say of how pastor is um, to them. Okay, Paul. Before I start, let's hear from Jeremiah 3.15. And I will give pastors according to my own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. It's an honor and pleasure to be a part of this. And I'm assigned with letter H, meaning hope, happiness, and humanitarianism. Letter H in Hebrew is called He, which means peace be upon him or her. He is represented by the picture of an open hand, which literally means grace of God. God, God breathed grace into Abram, and his name become, became Abraham because he believed the promises of God and he was declared righteous. Biblically, the letter H appears in Psalm 119 as the Hebrew letter H symbolizing revelation and divine breath. It also emphasized that God laws is the only way of life. Spirituality, the letter H is often linked to personal growth, inner peace, and a deep sense of purpose. These attributes make H a powerful symbol that can inspire and uplift individuals. In my own opinion, H for me means Hector. He is humble, honorable, honest, helpful. And most of all, they said he's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> sip, sip. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Hector, thank you for your unwavering faith, your guidance, and your love for our community. We are grateful for you and your family. May God continue to bless you as you lead us forward. Thank you for being a shepherd to the, to the flock and guiding light in our lives. Thank you for being such a great example of living a life of faith. Thank you for your sincere love to us. Thank you truly isn't enough, but today we honor you for all you do each day. We honor you for the years you have poured into ministry. You are a difference maker and life changer. Your kindness, guidance, and support means the world to us and your dedication to our community inspiring. Your sermons always uplift and inspire us, and your presence is a constant source of comfort and strength. We appreciate your leadership and guidance, and we feel so grateful to have you in our lives. Pastor, we are thankful for your sincere love for us. We are, gratefully, we are grateful that our church truly feels like a family your hospital visits, counseling sessions, and member meetings, you have shown that you really care for us. Thank you for modeling sacrificial and sincere love by the way you serve us every week. Once again, Pastor Hector, congratulations on your continued support, guidance, and journey to our lives in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. What can I say? Uh, they give me a letter E to describe you, Pastor, but uh, this is a privilege that Nandito uh, to honor you. Uh, e, I, I, there's so many E that I can describe to you, Mr. Ba, Pastor, but I choose to be E for your ex extraordinary person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can tell you. you have uh, some extremely good or special quality na nakita ko para sa inyo, Pastor. It's really, really marami, but this is, I really appreciate this. Talagang pinilo ko to. Very ex extraordinary. Yo, because, Pastor, your dedication to the Lord's work touches our hearts and soul. For your guidance, wisdom, and unwavering faith, we are fo forever grateful. Your words bring hope and your action bring love to us and to our church. I want, to, I want you to know 
we are blessing to discharge and we are thank God for your life. You know what, uh, what is bringing things that last night when I was reading uh, a book, a Bible, I don't know why Holy Spirit uh, um, dinala niya ako sa book of uh, the story of um, ni Andrew, you know. But that's why when I reading this uh, this uh, by this Bibles, na inentulad kita kay Apostle Andrew because uh, uh, Apostle Andrew is a thoughtful and humble, eager to follow Jesus and pay and faithful in bringing others to Christ through his ministry. And thank you, Pastor Hector. This is the opportunity to say na lahat ng kabutihan mo is never been forgot, forgotten. Alam mo, yung, uh, I, yung kabutihan mo, we are, I am not a showing person, pero sa lahat ng binigay mo sa akin, sa support, sa, sa advice, is in our, is nasa puso ko. Uh, hindi lang ikaw ang napaka, you know, you are not a perfect, but ginawa mong lahat para sa ministers. You are a human. Nasasaktan ka rin. Uh, you are not a perfect like us. Napapagod ka rin, but you always there for us. You are the always person na pag sinabi mo, at sister, how are you? How's the brother? You know, not only here, even back home yung our family, you always pray for them. And we are praying, Pastor, I want you to know that I'm very thankful sa buhay mo and, and, and I always pray na we'll continue to, to grow with you sa, sa pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Thank you, Pastor, for everything. Thank you. Is this on? Is this on? <laughs> yes. It's all right. I think so. Okay. It's your. First of all, I have to say, Hector, I'm so glad I can understand the word Hector, <laughs> and it's not in Filipino, <laughs> and that this word isn't a Filipino word. <laughs> um, also, um, I'm um, usually not, I'm usually quite good at speaking, <laughs> um, but um, I've got to follow you and you, and so much has already been said about you, which is absolutely beautiful and absolutely true, and I'm sure everybody would be saying amen, 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 as I was as well. Um, I haven't known you, David and I haven't known you as long as most of you here, but in the, I don't know, over a year, now must be 18 months, um, we're so happy and grateful to the Lord that... Um, you're here, and that we met you here in a prayer meeting for Aldershot. And uh, we've been to many churches and spoken at churches, but we've never actually... Actually, yes, I have belonged to, and I still do belong <laughs> to the Caribbean church in Aldershot, but now we're part of you, and um, which is such a blessing for us. And we do truly thank God Amen. that you're here, Hector, Amen. and your wife and your family, and all the spiritual family. And I just jotted down a few... Descriptions, adjectives, beginning with C for you. <laughs> um, the first one that came to my mind was charismatic. <laughs> because you're charismatic, you're lovely to be with, you're fun, you're under, you, we can understand you, um, and you have a lovely personality. You're clever. Mm. You must be with your job. You're clever because you find out the word of, of God, and we appreciate that very much. Um, it's already been said in the song, I think, that you're a comfort to many people, and that is such a blessing that a pastor needs to be able to offer comfort to people, to the lambs, to the flock. Um, you're cordial. Now, I don't know, some of you may not know what that actually means. It's not a word we use in English too often. It's an old-fashioned word, cordial. It means um, pleasant and polite. Any other? Sorry? Cordial. Cor cordial. Anyway, it's lovely. <laughs> and we appreciate that in you. you it's nice with lime. Polite. <laughs> yes, polite. Um, you cover in prayer. That's already being sung and I believe said, you cover your church in prayer, and that's wonderful Amen. as a member of the church to know that we're covered in your prayers. You care 
Amen. You yes. care. That's so wonderful. And you're compassionate, mm. kind. Mm. Doesn't mean start with C, but right. it sounds like sounds C. Good. So I'm going to say that. <laughs> you're kind. You're confident in the Lord. Amen. And that's part of a wonderful leadership. And we appreciate your faith in your and our God and how you are able to transmit that to others. And um, we thank you for that. Um, you are Christ's child. You are Christ's messenger. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are Christ's mouthpiece. You are Christ's vessel. You are Christ's word. And Pastor Hector, you have Christ in you. Amen. The hope of glory. Amen. And we appreciate you for being the pastor here. Amen. <laughs> um, random lang yung masasabi ko kasi kanina lang sinabi ni sister. But anyway, um, T is... Um, Thank you, Pastor, for everything, uh, for teaching us as well, for the Word of God um, to guide us in our spiritual life or in spiritual needs. And also, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa, sa buhay niyo po na I, can, I remember po nung 2017 na... Uh, um, na um, may malaking problema po ako pero hindi ko po alam kung sinong tatawagan ko o kung sinong pupuntahan ko. But then 11 o'clock at night, I nagtry lang po akong tawagan kita pero you answer the phone and that time, I feel relieved and you pray for me. And I can't remember that hanggang po nabubuhay ako. Kaya nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon sa buhay niyo po, Pastor. Thank you so much. Um, hello, Pastor. Um, I thank God for your life, Pastor, and thank you also for all your prayers. I'm assigned to letter O. Oh, the, I try to read this more for O, but I think the most that I can describe you is you are oh, um, you oversee our our needs, uh, 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 physically physical needs and spiritual needs, like for me. You know, from my face, you know if I'm not feeling well. And you, you, you offered prayers for me. <laughs> and thank you very much for it. And for spiritual needs, even though I'm sleeping, you know, I'm always <laughs> sleeping when I work night. Ever since, ever since I started with this ministry, I forget what year. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm always sleepy, but Pastor never, never, ne never, <laughs> never offended me. But uh, I heard, I heard him. Oh, Sister Avelina, I know what is your dream. <laughs> and, I, and I said, Oh my God, Pastor saw me, saw me sleeping. And then when he said, Oh, I know you are dreaming that your family will be here. And I said, Amen. <laughs> and thanks God. See. He oversee what's my, I didn't tell him what is inside my heart because I thought it's very impossible for them to come. Mm. All my family coming here? Amen. Very impossible, but nothing impossible. And pastor oversee it. It's my spirit, from my spiritual, spiritual need. And thank you for, for it, pastor. Now I'm, I'm, I'm emotional now. <laughs> and you have also, oh, it's my own, you, you have an outstanding personality, character, because even uh, it's, there's no time I call you, it's my problem, or my family's problem, or my friend's problem. Oh, Pastor, can you pray for my friend? He has, he has cancer. Oh, Pastor, can you pray for my relative in the Philippines, in Leyte? And even I will let him speak. He's so patient, no, no time. Whereas the others, you know, I, I've been with the priest, I have... You cannot just say that one anytime when you are just walking or you are in the church or you are in in other house and you can tell I'll just go near. Pastor, I have something to for you to for praying. So you have an outstanding for me, outstanding character, outstanding personality. So again, I'm thanking God for your life. And thank you also, Pastor. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay, for me, it's uh, R, 
uh, R uh, stand for uh, re uh, reassuring, yeah. reassuring. Because um, Pastor, uh, you're always reassuring us every time you know we have a problems. Uh, as a Christian, uh, we have a lot of tribulation. We are experiencing tribulation. Yeah, sometimes problems one and another. Uh, we don't know, of course, at first we go to God to pray. And sometimes we felt that our prayer is not enough. So we can find uh, somebody, like someone who, had, who is, uh, is a man of faith or a woman of faith, and the brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'll call pastor every time I have a problem. And I felt better afterwards because he reassured me that everything's going to be fine. And by his faith also, sometimes my, my prayer answer prayer. And of course, if that answer prayer, I know that God has a plan for everything. So thank you, Pastor. Uh, marami pa, marami pang mga description para sa you, Pastor. Uh, and also religious. Uh, you are religious, Pastor. Of course, you are knowledgeable enough. Uh, the Bible. At, at hindi ka magiging Pastor if you are not religious. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much, Pastor, for all the support, for your love and care in this church. And thank you for being our um, shepherd, Pastor. Thank you so much, and we are very blessed and grateful for for having you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. Ayun. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, thank you very much to all. Um, uh, thank you to all those wonderful adjectives, but. Uh, Personally, I cannot own it. I am not worthy. I am not uh, deserving. Um, that is, that is uh, not me. I only consider that um, it's the grace of the Lord. Amen. Um, thank you very much for all those. And um, uh, um, I cannot be who I am. Or every one of us, we cannot be who we are. Uh, we cannot do what uh, we are able to do. Um, uh, we just have to rely on that Philippians 4.13 that uh, we can do these things that we are doing because of the Lord who enables us. So, we thank you so much na nakakataba ng puso but I give it all to the Lord. Amen. 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 I give it all to the Lord. So, yeah. I appreciate it. And yes, I want to take this opportunity as well, my dear brothers and sisters, that, um, uh, yeah, this is yours too. Uh, because I know that at the back of this are all of you praying for me as well. Amen. The back of this, the leaders, all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, are uh, praying for me as well. And although, yes, you've said that um, uh, I uh, pray for you, but if you imagine, I'm only one. I'm uh, praying for uh, all of you, but all of you praying for me as well. So, yung balik is mas marami. No? So, thank you very much. You said that I encourage you, but to be honest, uh, you encourage me remarkably as well. You say that I strengthen you, but to be honest, my dear brothers and sisters, I cannot thank you enough the way how you are strengthening me and ministering unto me as well. So, yes, I thank you for all your lives. I thank you for all your love. And I thank you for all the support that you are showing and extending as well. But most of all, I thank the Lord and we give it all to Him. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, hindi po po tayo tapos. Hindi pa po, hindi pa. Um, we are not yet finished. Uh, um, 
they say this the, the two become one so the pastor please and the missus this is this me and The two become one, so pastor. <laughs> I just want to uh, read this verse before we. Might be this is encouragement to everyone, but um, this word in Second um, Corinthians four eight to ten. This is uh, you know the life of the pastor. Uh, I hope this is one also that is encouraging him and to assist me on. And it says here, we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be may also be revealed in our body. So, as a pastor, it's not easy po. Hindi talaga madali. Tanggalin ko lang ang salamin ko. As a pastor, if you can see my analogy in the, you know, the thin, the thin or the can, the empty, if you press it side to side, we don't know how, how, how it looks like. Yeah, we don't know it might be pastor walking like this, walking like that, because anything, anyone can throw words, can, that pastor can, uh, uh, he's still a human, that it, sasaktan din po siya. Kaya, sa nakita natin sa buhay niya, hindi lang yung, yeah, it's to be, to be called as a pastor, parang, Sabi nga, nandun na binigyan niya ang lahat sa Panginoon. Dahil nandun sa yung mga words kanina, overseer. Nandun yung pinagpipray niya ang congregation. Nandun lahat, uh, binivisit niya ang lahat. Uh, bin, uh, asking, how are you? So, you're overseeing your, your uh, church congregation, your family. Um, hindi lang tayo magkakasama in time so all happiness or any good times but in the pastor is always there hindi po siya umaayaw hindi siya uh, at ang sabi po doon uh, ng Panginoon uh, sa John 3 uh, John uh, something um, I forgot the, that if you um, love one another as, you, as I have loved you, and I call you as a disciple. So, uh, the pastor po, it's not that, um, hindi po siya yung, even the pastor, as a, if you compare po as a parent, a parent is always there, kahit, uh, even though, even though, um, we, he is not the best of all the situation. That in everything, we can say no, we know to him or disagree. This, there is an, a disagreement po in this church. Um, it doesn't mean that we, we um, if there is disagreement, I think it's have to talk or, or we stop gambling or there is some moans and groans whenever we are, even at work or in, in our family, in our own physical family. There is a complaint, but I think w what we have to leave it up now to when we see to our pastor, if we see him, he is our mouth, he is the mouthpiece of God. I think whatever that uh, that is not in agreeable to all of us, I think the important is we have to talk, stop like uh, it's not complaining or uh, blaming, but instead of praying one another, stop, um, you have to point out what is, what is in the word of God. I think um, all of us, we, 
we will be guided by the word of God. So we, we, we as a member, we have to pray. Uh, sabi nga ni Pastor kanina, oh, hello, if we pray for pastor, then pastor receive more. So that's the way we can strengthen our pastor. So um, pastor is not, sorry, this is pastor is from all your family. We have our a talking of love and respect to you. This is... I know, pastor is not, <laughs> Hindi is not that really important, but pastor, we show our love to you and to the family. And uh, um, I think what is important here as a body of Christ, we have to, um, instead of uh, complaining or blaming, we just pray to our pastor that God will will be strengthen him any any challenges will come to his life and it's not that he is a pastor as a husband and a father to you to to to, to, to his children Kaya, and all of us and uh, I think it's more healthy we it's not that we are agree in everything in this agreement we bring it to the Lord and God will guide us. Amen. Yun lang po. And Amen. And we just, we will pray to our pastor and can we stand up? And uh, is this is Michelle. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We, hallelujah, we just stretch our hands towards our pastor and to Sismian, Father God, we Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the life of our pastor. Of all the words that we said, O oh Lord, we just pray, Father God, that words, O oh Lord, that is anointed, Lord, that it will... Uh, marinig po na aming pastor na hindi lang po they use them, O oh Lord, to, to describe who, who is our pastor. But above all, O oh Lord, he is your son, O oh Lord. He is your child, Father God. And we just continue to pray for, for the anointing, first revelation in his life. Kung paano po niya i-guide ang kanyang congregation, Father God. And we, as the congregation, are responsible, are, are, are responsible is to keep praying one another, love one another. And that's your command that we have to love one another as your disciple. And the God will call us all our disciples because we love that lo the love that comes from God. And that love, O oh Lord, is unconditional love. And thank you, Lord. Thank you for the life of our pastor and sister Mary and Lord, that they uh, help one another. Kung paano, Lord, to cater this family, to guide this see your family. Thank you, Lord, for this press revelation that always guiding them, Lord, that taking your, uh, uh, reading your words, Father God, as our guidance, Lord, the Holy Spirit that always bind us together. Continue, Lord, to bless, Lord, their lives as, an, as our family that we will love and protect one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po and to all that uh, who are not with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Po.